All right, thanks. Welcome back to Chaos to Clarity, meteorologist Bernie Reno. Listen, one thing you're going to learn about me when you watch these videos, I'm honest. When, I'm, when I bust, I say it. I busted on this, on this event, um, you know, uh, a Sunday night in the Monday on the wind side. I didn't see much of any 50, 60 mile per hour winds. Now, it wasn't like there wasn't any wind. There were winds. I saw wind gusts 30, 40, 50, but it was not as extensive as what I feared it was going to be, which is a good thing. Now, the rainfall forecast was spot on, but the wind, listen, there wasn't widespread damaging winds. Uh, 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 power outages, a damaging wind event, that never happened. And I think I, I think I know what happened with this here. Um, I, I want to go back. I want to go back to this. Let me um, take you into this. And I'm going to go full screen on this for a second so you can see. I, I, you know, what were we following during the week? We we're following this piece of energy right here, all right? This is the piece, by the way, it produced all the severe weather. I didn't think there'd be that many tornadoes, certainly on Saturday either. Um, uh, unfortunately, there was. Now, that was the main piece coming to the Northeast. Watch what happened to us. So this is 1 a.m. Monday. This is 7 a.m. Now, watch this. Here's the key. I mean, it's, it's a good-looking piece of energy here, right? But watch what it did. It really weakened quite a bit, which I was not anticipating. Watch what it did. Boom. See that? It just kind of petered out and you could see it weakening right in here. You, you go from, you know, 80 knot winds. This is all at 500 millibars here and watch how it just, you kind of start losing the energy with it. So instead of a strengthening system, it kind of weakened. So I think that that's certainly why we didn't get the winds. Now the rainfall, hey, that was, that worked out as we thought it would. Let me show you the uh, rainfall uh, here um across the uh across the area i mean it we were gen we were thinking generally an inch or two of rain and you know we had that now there was little areas notice these a uh, few little areas in the yellow here south of boston central long island new jersey maryland delaware i mean this is where you had you know anywhere from four to five inches of rain but it was a general one to two inches of rain that worked out fine but the wind never did okay boring that's the pattern from here on out now listen I, I it's not like i want adverse weather i don't um but you know i'm always on the lookout for snowstorms i severe weather i can do without you know i don't like severe weather i don't like predicting severe weather i never look for severe weather i never hope for severe weather because severe weather snowstorms are one thing severe weather is a, 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 a another uh, a headache that I wish on nobody, but I am constantly looking, all right, where are we going to get any snowstorms anytime soon? And the answer is no. I mean, I just don't see it. Take a look at the upper air. What's going on? I mean, there's no cold air anywhere. I mean, there's an injection of cold air coming in here. You see that Wednesday into Thursday, you've got high pressure building in, but, but look what happens. It leaves the weather pound. You've got this upper low we're going to be tracking, but the northern branch is so strong, it buries it. And also when you look at this northern branch, what do I see? I see a zonal flow. I mean, all the cold air is wrapped up in the here. It's well off to the north and east. I mean, take a look. That's Saturday. Where's the cold air? I don't see any. I don't see anywhere in the U.S. I mean, I, it, 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 I, I hate to be pessimistic. I just don't see anything. Now, listen, we're going to we're gonna have to watch this upper low. You see that rolling across Texas? Let me go back. That comes into the southwest states. There'll be some snow in the mountains you know, four, across the Four Corners area. But, I mean, the heights on that, 564, that's not impressively cold. You know, there's going to be some rain and thunderstorms with this in Texas. Could there be some severe weather? Yeah, it's an upper low. Hopefully not. Uh, and then th th that will go right across the southern two U.S. But see, it gets buried because you have a strong northern flow. Here comes a surge of colder air, but it's not all that cold. So, I, I mean, I just don't, I don't see anything worth getting excited about here. Nothing. I mean, here we are. This is going in the next week. This is going into the 20th, so next week, week before Christmas, I, I don't see anything. You know, even the GFS, I, again, you know, here's some colder air, but still you look across, you look across North America and let me go out. Let's go, let's go to like 10 days from now. I mean, I, I just don't see any signs of any cold air 
any kind of injections or anything coming into the East or in the Midwest. I, I, I don't see it. See? I don't see anything. There's a little area there. That's on the Christmas Eve. But, you know, maybe there's a storm coming across the central U.S., but where's the cold air? It's up here. It's way up in here. So I'm afraid I don't see any. I'm on the hunt for a snowstorm, but I don't see anything in the next week. Now, listen, I, you know, let's see how this changes. But until I see some cold air starting to get involved in the U.S., turn off the alarm clock, turn on the alarm clock and go to bed. Nothing's going to happen much. So we'll be on the lookout for it. I mean, it's great news if you're doing any traveling next week for Christmas. I don't see many problems. We're going to have to watch that upper low in Texas and in the southern tier of the United States. But if you're looking for snow in the Midwest and Northeast, I see nothing. Nothing. That's a little depressing. All right. That's it. If you have any questions, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Accurano here. I'll, I'll continue to keep update, keep you updated on this, but I do want to let you know, not the best forecast Sunday night into Monday with this wind event. The rain was on. That was no problems. I think I was right on on that, but the wind not as ferocious. Glad that I was wrong. I don't like being wrong, but I certainly was on this point. All right. Stay with us. Stay with AccuWeather.com, and you can follow me on Twitter, and I'm at Accurano. I'll answer any questions I can.